My name is Zach, and I'm a CTO, and I was using Sublime Text, and then I switched to PyCharm. For more reviews like this, click below. So this software uh, helps me solve some business problems in my area as a software developer. Uh, you know, as a basic text ed editor, IDE, uh, I manage all of my code repos with these uh, software products. Uh, and basically, in my day-to-day -day work of working with code in all different languages and for different reasons. Uh, these software products help me uh, develop, um, edit, debug, um, and do that entire process as a software developer. PyCharm is really best for, as its name gives, Python development. Uh, so working within Python, uh, it has a lot of extra tools built in um, a lot of extra uh, code completion, IntelliSense. Um, so when working specifically with Python projects, it's really uh, out of the box, has a lot for it. Um, it. It really builds in all these extra tools. And so this helps when you're developing these Python projects and you want to, um, it just basically makes the whole process uh, faster. You have a lot more at your fingertips. Sublime Text is really a, um, a great sort of stripped down code editor. Um, and you know, it's good for all different languages. It's pretty flexible because it has a lot of different um, add-ons that you can install. And so you can work with uh, different languages, you can add different functionality. So it's pretty flexible, although that does take some setting up, some configuring, sometimes some maintenance as as the product's going through updates. Um, but it's really best for a stripped down code editor experience. So if you're looking for something simple and lightweight and fast, uh, Sublime Text is a great option. So getting started with both of these products, it is, I think, quite a different experience. Um, Sublime Text, you know, it's really quick, simple uh, install. But I think to really fine tune it, uh, and get it to where I wanted to get it. Uh, it took a lot more time, uh, but it was also at the same time a lot more customizable. Uh, but I really had to investigate and find the right add-ons and sometimes do some different code completions with regular expressions. Uh, it, took, it took some time to, to um, get it to really where I wanted it and it required a little bit more maintenance as, I, as we were going through updates. Um, whereas PyCharm, I think, was faster to, to get up and, and start going and start developing at a higher level um, because it's all built in. And although there is there's still a lot of extra functionality that you can um, add on and configure, uh, I felt that out of the box it was a quicker and easier startup process. I think one of the main considerations when looking at the software, obviously, is uh, do you mostly develop in Python or not? So um, PyCharm, obviously, would be a very good option if you're a Python developer. Um, but that doesn't mean it's the go-to option. It really depends on personal preferences. Uh, so if you like the really um, in fully functional, uh, fully developed IDE experience, uh, PyCharm would be the right um, choice for you. If you like something that maybe you, you actually like to dig into it and customize it and find the add-ons, um, and um, if you like the lightweight experience, then Sublime Text would be the right choice for you. Um, the lightweight experience is just, uh, you know, it depends a lot on the computer and the laptop that you're using. Um, but it could end up being a lot faster um, to actually do uh, text editing with Sublime Text.